God, I really need to get a better background, what can I say? So this video is gonna be incoherent as heel because I do not have any notes, but it's fine. Today's gonna be less factual and more rambly, talky, me talking to you about something that I've been thinking recently. So, as you might have guessed, in the future, I would like to be involved within the archeological sphere somehow. And although I'm hoping to do a little bit of academia, possibly if I get in, we'll see, maybe not. I don't really feel as though it's helpful to anything outside of the archeological sphere to just research stuff for the pure sake of researching it. I think in some ways that's really self-indulgent. And no, don't come at me. I love learning you presumably love learning and we both love history and that is a fact and that is a fact that I think is very important I love people knowing history I love documentaries I love people being taught things broadening their horizons it's bloody brilliant however aside from having a better understanding of yourself through your history I really feel like there's certain times in these in these days in these modern times where it's a little bit fraught with um, instability, we can really use the past to understand what we can do today to better our lives. And that's what I really want to get onto, is using various aspects of archaeology, whether they be experimental or psychological or through folk tales or through kind of any aspect of history, we can really apply those things to the modern day. So, for example, you can do a comparison, a little bit like how I did with my, my dissertation when I was looking at like how creativity developed. I think you can do something with looking at how we have adapted through our evolution to various environmental changes and climatic changes to see how our psychology might adapt to the very fast evolving modern day with, you know, technology, climate change, all of this. Or you could go into things like looking at sustainable land management passed down from generations of various cultures such as indigenous North Americans to see how you can use land in a more sustainable way instead of just trashing it like we do right now. Even to the extent of looking at how people in various cultures before Christian missionaries went out around the world to tell people that their ways of living were wrong, um, to see how our society could actually be more accepting. For example, not using and I know this is going to be a woke, some, for some of you this word is going to be a bit too woke, but go over it, heteronormative societal models. Or even to the extent of no longer having the nuclear family and moving on to a more alloparental model of living. And I know I'm going to get a barrage of people in the comments being like, woke, Gen Z, lefty, liberal, blah blah blah, you know this is the world that we live in now, accept it. And although these are all topics that I could really delve into and make individual videos on each, I just thought it was an interesting point to bring up to say that it's really really good to combine fields, examine how we can use the past to better the, the present and the future and I think that's something that I'd want to move into myself is understanding how even on a really really small level we can use past practices to better our everyday lives. For example, people generally right now are not happy, hugely happy in their lives. For example, they've got a really off work-life balance. There are just stresses such as money that we haven't neurologically evolved to deal with, if you know what I mean. And I think there are various practices such as being outside, and you know, nature's very important. And I think there are practices, even stemming right down to childhood, such as exposing children to being in nature a lot more than many of them are, can actually go on to improve people's immunities and improve people's mental health into adulthood. And um, these are all really basic things, and I think that we've kind of really forgotten where we come from. And that's like one of the main things that I'm getting at here. I feel like this is gonna seem like it's coming out of nowhere, but to be fair, I literally, it's my actual dream to just live in a fucking cabin in the woods, like, oh, love it. Anyway, my main point is, as much as you know that I love learning about history, and as much as you love learning about history, I really think 
we can work together with other people, other people within the academic community and other people outside of that to help make knowledge that we previously didn't know scientifically or just forgotten practices known to people and enable us to have better futures. There's even interesting facts actually, I've just got to mention this one last thing. There's even something interesting when it comes to like exercise. So this one scientist, I forgot what he's called, basically did an experiment where he was measuring calories. So he measured the general calorie um, burning, I don't know, I can't think of the word right now, of a typical American office worker who spends eight hours sitting at a desk every day and the amount of calories being burnt by those in the Hadza tribe and it turns out that all that bollocks about if you do fucking run in for 20 minutes you're gonna burn 3,000 calories I know that's not the actual science but that is that's not true as it turns out you're gonna burn the same amount of calories no matter what you do it's just that if you sit at a desk for eight hours a day those calories are going to be burnt through chemical reactions and it essentially is going to cause inflammation within the body and if you exercise those calories are going to be burnt through doing the exercise and toning up the muscles which in turn is going to reduce the amount of inflammation that happens in your body because those calories aren't being burnt in unhealthy ways essentially. So yeah, I just thought that was an interesting fact and that is something about our biology which also links into this which can be used to promote our health in modern day. So yeah, that's just what I've been thinking recently. I hope that made sense um, and I wonder if other people have been thinking similarly. <laughs>